NG Power Sign 4 VPN Configuration In NG Power, there are 3 VPN connection methods supported in the device, which are the SSL VPN, Sign 4 VPN, and IPsec. Sign 4 VPN is a proprietary feature to build a VPN connection between HQ and branch. Compared with IPsec, both devices must be the Sign 4 product only able to establish the VPN tunnel. This is an example of the sample VPN enrichment in this diagram. Both sides must be a sample product. After that, determine the rule of the each NG firewall, either HQ or branch. It's easy to configure by just only set up the web agent and add the local user information in the HQ devices. All of the branch devices only have to establish the connection to HQ with the correct username and password. And the VPN connection will be successfully enabled. Here is the configuration step of the sample VPN connection, just similar to the step I previously mentioned. After configure VPN interface, user only have to configure the web agent and the local user setting in the HQ devices. And also remember the remaining step, which is enabled the branch connection to the HQ. Other than that, the service is considered as the completed. We are starting now to configure Sample VPN. First of all, I will simply show you the connection status before adding the Sample VPN. 192.168.12.0 subnet will be the branch local subnet which my IGMP bank cannot reach it. So, this is the result. The first step is to configure the VPN interface. In here, the Internet tool will be the WAN interface for HQ connected to 192.168.10.0 outside network and the following 200 will be the IP address of the WAN interface. After that, we continue to configure the LAN interface by just simply adding the Ethernet one as the LAN interface and Set up the configuration. Because this is the HQ devices, we also have to configure the web agent with the WAN interface IP address 192.168.12.200. After that, enter the P check key for authentication between two devices. You also can test the connection. So the status is correct. Once done, set up the configuration. The next step, we have to add in the local user for branch with the username and password. The user type, we have to select the branch user. That's all. So we can verify the result. So the next thing we have to configure for the branch device. Basically, the configuration is similar to the HQ devices. We have to configure the WAN interface and the LAN interface also. So now we have to add the VPN connection in the branch device to build up the connection between two devices. So we just have to enter the primary web engine 192.168.10.200 and text the connection so the connection seems very well. And also we have to enter the pre key, username and password we are created in the HQ devices. Once done, and apply. So we can start up the VPN service in the both devices. Basically, the service may require to take a long time to set up, so we will have to wait for a while.
So this is the result. The repair correction is successfully enabled. You also can ping with the ICMP ping message to the local subnet. So this is all of the configuration of the VPN. Thanks for watching.